you don't really get it that you are a vibrational being and that since you are a vibrational being and since law of attraction is responding to the vibration of your being that everything that comes into your experience that literally everything that you realize is because you have chosen either deliberately or by default to activate and keep activated a vibration long enough that by law of attraction there is enough momentum responding to that active vibration that you are having experiences around it most people just think stuff happens but there is nothing that is happening apart from your vibration or from law of attractions response to your vibration you are source energy in physical bodies and most of our physical friends don't really get that either you think that source is outside of you and that you are being tested or that you are separated from it in some way and to some extent you have caused some separation between you and that which is source that's what all negative emotion is but it's all done by you it's never done by source so source is never withholding from you but always focused to you surrounding you with attention of appreciation and acknowledgement and unspeakable love which you are in any moment in time vibrationally allowing through your crack of least resistance or disallowing through your guardedness or your defensiveness or your justification -ness 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 through your through your observation in many cases of things that hold you in a vibration that causes you to accomplish a vibrational condition that keeps you from experiencing this love that is being flowed to you at all times hmm. we're on the brink of really explaining in the most easy to understand verbiage ever what unconditional love really is so your source energy you were source energy before you came into this physical body and a part of you came into this physical body where you've been exploring and as you explore the environment in which you live you are coming to personal preferences about what you prefer when someone's rude to you you prefer that they be nicer when you're rude you prefer that you be nicer when you are loving it feels so good when you are doing something less than loving it doesn't feel so good so through life experience you are sifting and sorting and you are coming to many clarifications about what you prefer really in many cases extensions or furthering of preferences from that that you were born knowing so you're launching these rockets of desire and as you launch these rockets of desire the larger part of you becomes that evolved version of you and then all day every day you have the opportunity to get up to speed or stay up to speed with the evolution of your desire or the expansion of that which is you or not and the emotions that you feel are your indication of both your expansion and you're keeping up with it so we've been talking to you about this for quite a while and many of you have been hearing the variety of explanations that we've been offering you but these days the thing that we want to emphasize to you in such clarity and such consistency that you can't miss it is that you stand in your waking state offering a vibration and all of that equals your point of attraction and everything that happens in your life experience is because of that vibrational countenance Esther has been asking us what word is best to describe this because it's this atmosphere that surrounds you it's this vibrational atmosphere that you generate by the thoughts you think so if you're ornery you've got an ornery atmosphere going on Esther says is it atmosphere is it climate is it the petri dish is it, is it a condition we say it doesn't matter what word you give it you are creating an atmosphere around yourself that is allowing of the 
unconditional love that source is offering you or disallowing of the unconditional love that source is offering you and by the way it's not just unconditional love that source is offering you it's unconditional prosperity and unconditional clarity and unconditional vitality it is unconditional well-being being flooded to you and through you and all around you the question is what do you got going on with your vibrational environment? In other words, what have you been thinking about? What drums have you been beating? What have you been worrying about or appreciating? What has been the attention of your focus? What are you doing with your thoughts that is causing you to generate a vibrational climate that is letting in this unconditional love or, and here it is, or are you creating, are you looking at conditions that are causing you to create a condition that is disallowing the unconditional love from flowing? Now we know there was a lot of conditions we throw at you just then, <laughs> but can you get it? Are you getting the sense of what we're talking about? So all day, every day you are moving around in your world, in your life, in your mind, speaking your words, observing the things that you're observing. And as you're doing that, the activation that is present within you is allowing other things to come to you. Thoughts, experiences, people, conditions, circumstances, events, everything that happens in your world, the traffic that surrounds you, the way you're treated at the front desk of a hotel, the way your friends are relating to you, the way the people that you don't even know are relating to you. Everyone is relating to you in response to this vibrational atmosphere that you have created and that you are keeping active. The question is, are you keeping it active purposefully or by default? And for most people it's by default because you are letting yourself, oh, we just love telling you this, <laughs> be responsive to conditions that are out there rather than to the unconditioned that is within here. In other words, rather than letting source just love you unconditionally, you say, but, 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 but it wasn't my fault. That's the condition of that negative tirade, or that's the condition of my financial collapse, or that's the reason that's the justification. And we say, we want in these hours that we are together here today to help you at least make a decision to want to be a person in your body, in your world responding to a vibrational atmosphere that you are honing that you are creating that you are aware of that you are doing something about rather than knee-jerk responding to that condition and that condition and that condition 